Oh, I gotta be honest. Today is, is just, just as bad as yesterday. First of all, I woke up and I sound like this, okay? I sound like a teenage girl who's been up all night crying about her boyfriend. But that's okay, because I'm, I'm going to the gym soon and I'll probably just sit in the sauna for like eight hours. Not literally eight hours, all right? That was a joke for all the people who are about to get in the comments. Uh, it's not good to sit, I, I'm kidding. Also, on top of being sick, I'm also like delirious in the morning for some reason because I didn't sleep well because I'm so congested. So when I woke up in the morning, I was just out of it. And when I went to go brush my teeth, I put hand soap on my fucking toothbrush like an idiot. Thankfully, I didn't start brushing. I like, as soon as I squeezed it onto the brush, I was like, what am I doing? And then I was making a pre-workout shake or whatever. So I put the powder in and then didn't put water. I just walked out. I got two steps out of my apartment and went to go take a sip and it was just like powder. I'm like, what the fuck is going on today? So I had to come back and put fucking water in it. And I was like, you know what, let me let me just let people know how fucking stupid I am. I was just looking at comments from the video I put out yesterday, and some people are just like fucking clueless. Someone commented and was like, Joe, you're not fooling anyone. We know you only picked out the bad comments because it would make for a funny video. No shit, Sherlock! And I couldn't even tell you how many people messaged me because I made that joke about that dude Mark having a silent E in his name. I have a silent E in my name. That's the joke. And everyone's like, uh, Joe, I don't know if you fucking realize, but there's a silent E in your name. I know. And it's literally hundreds of people that will message me and be like, your name has a silent E. Your name has a Do you even know your name? I know. Don't worry. I'm well aware of how my name is spelled. Anyway, I'm on the way to the gym, like I said. Uh, I really am going to sit in the sauna first because if I'm just congested and try to work out, I'm gonna gas out really fast because I can't breathe. I just really hope there isn't a naked dude in the sauna because it's happened to me once before. I don't need I don't need an old dick in my life right now. And you think I'm joking, but I'm really not. The last time, I think this was the last time I ever got into the sauna, I was in there with Frankie and this old guy walks in, he's ass naked. He just has like a little towel pressed against his dick like Tarzan, like you know how Tarzan just wears that little flap or whatever? The dude had no idea we were in there, and the sauna's tiny, by the way. It's like a jail, it's like half of a jail cell. So he walked in, and I could tell he was like, take, he was like, oh shit, because he walked in, he was like, oh. And then he just like stood there for like four seconds. And I'm sitting down on the bench, and I'm like, yeah, dude, come in, whatever, you know, whatever, I'm trying to, because it was weird. The guy walked in, he was like, oh, I didn't know anyone else was gonna be in here, like it was weird. So I was like, yeah, make yourself at home. I was like, come on, come sit down. And I made room for him, and ha in saunas they have like tiers to like the benches or whatever. This dude takes a seat right behind me, whips off that towel, and I just felt the heat of his dick against my back. His dick wasn't on my back, but I just felt like the energy and the heat that his dick was giving off. I don't know if, I, if it was in my head or if it was real or not, but it definitely felt real to me. And of course, Frankie's gotta talk to him. So where are you from? And the guy starts, you know, he's from Colombia, and immediately he addresses the fact that he's naked. He was like, you know, to be honest with you, we do this all the time back home, but I'm like, <coughs> dude, that <coughs> really changed the fact that uh, I'm a little uncomfortable. It was also weird because he was sitting behind me so when you're talking to someone naturally you want to look at them you don't want to look somewhere else so i had to turn around and now like his dick is like within an earshot but anyway i'm pulling up to the gym right now so i gotta go but you keep your fingers crossed for me say a prayer talk to a shaman do whatever you gotta do to keep an old dick out of my life right now all right hold on <laughs> i just parked in the parking lot at the gym and you gotta see this car next to me. They've got Hello Kitty seat coverings. What? And I'm not even bullshitting you, the license plate cover also has Hello Kitty on it, but I didn't want to show that because I didn't want to show their license plate. But these people fucking love Hello Kitty. And if no one's gonna say it, I'll say it. If you're old enough to drive, you're old enough to not have Hello Kitty seat covers, okay? All right, so I'm back from the gym and uh, I'm crippled. I threw out my back like an asshole. I had dumbbells in my hand and I put one down and I went to put the other one down, but then the other one rolled in the way. So I moved it out of the way at the last second and tweaked my back and now I gotta icy hot that shit. This is gonna be impossible to do by myself. Pop and peel, then apply. How do I pop? Where's the popping? 
Oh, in the middle. How dumb am I? I can't figure out a fucking icy hot here. Oh, okay, I got it. I popped. <coughs> now I'm peeling. Dude, I, it stinks. I hate how it's so cold. You know when you go to sit in the toilet seat in the winter and you're like, ah, ah. This is the exact same thing. God damn it. This is gonna take all day. I gotta clear my schedule so I can get this fucking thing on. <sighs> Icy. It's icy. <sighs> Why is it so cold? And I'm not even exaggerating for the camera. Like I'm actually this much of a bitch. All right. Oh, I got a little close to my my ass. Jesus. All right. Patched up. We're good. We're ready to go. So I'm not gonna be able to vlog in the middle of this day because I'm just gonna be editing, and there's nothing exciting about that. But I did want to talk about something that I've been noticing on Instagram, and it's these like 20 year old kids who have their shirts off and like gyrate their hips for 11 year old girls. It's really fucking weird to see. Because first of all, ugh. and second of all, like, what do you do? Like, how is this like, le like you, you know who your audience is and clearly you're like, yeah, I'm gonna take my shirt off. That's like going to like a, an 11 year old's birthday party and being like, okay, what's up? Like, what are you doing? And another thing that pisses me off about this shit is that they'll have captions. Now the new thing is like these captions where they're like, try to comment your name letter by letter without, without it getting messed up. What kind of game is it? It's, it's literally just like they want more comments. So they want people to just spell out their name. Like if your name's Joe, it's like one comment is J. Next comment, O. Next comment, oh no, Sarah put an S. So it fucked up. I have to redo it and try to get my name all in a row. Fuck your little caption games. This may be a stretch, but I feel like when dudes who are in their 20s have their shirts off on like Musical.ly, because no one over the age of 15 is using that fucking app, let's be honest. Everyone who's on that app is like 13, and it's like, yo, I'm gonna take my, sh my shirt off because I have abs, because I'm 13 and weigh 76 pounds. And they take their shirts off and they like grind to the weekend songs or something like that whole app is just weird and garbage literally i've never seen one musically and been like this this is good not one time has I ever have ever thought that i literally don't even get the appeal but you know kids have fun doing whatever the hell they do but like i said it's kids so when there's like grown adults on this app taking their shirt off it's like literally like i was saying before it's like walking into chuck e cheese with no shirt on and then just air fucking and just, you know, how is, this has to be kind of against the law, no? It's like some form of like long distance pedophilia. It, I don't know. I don't know if that's a stretch. All right, that's really all I have to contribute to the vlog for today. I just got into bed. It's like 1 a.m. right now. It's fucking pouring. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good with the vlogs, okay? Two and three, four days or something like that. That's pretty solid, let's be honest. I just played Fortnite for like two hours, so like... My eyes are so dry and they hurt and now I'm wide awake. But I'm gonna take some melatonin and knock myself out. And I'll see you next time.